Hello everybody and today I am going to show you the legendary Keen Walk game played between Nigel Short and Jan Tiemann in 1991. So let's go! It started off with e4 knight f6, the Alehines defense, e5 knight d5, main line, d4 d6 and knight f3. Knight f3. Another main, one of the main lines is c4, uh, but in the game it was knight f3, g6, bishop c4, gaining a tempo with the knight, uh, developing your bishop with tempo, bishop g7, queen e2, is the idea of removing your queen from the d file because of the castles. There can be d takes e, d takes c, queen d1, and that's not so nice, even though castle is another main line because after d takes e, you go knight to e5, and white is slightly better. But in the game, it was played queen e2, knight e6, now castles, castles, h3. Uh, so far, everybody, both sides are developing. a5, black's idea if white, uh, white doesn't pay attention is a4, for example, bishop f4, simply a4, and winning oops, the bishop. So a4 was played from white, preventing a4 idea from black. Takes, takes, knight d4, they traded, and the pawns and the knights. Look e1, e6, knight d2. Uh, yeah, it's already white, is even though, the, as you can see, uh, the material is equal, uh, so three minor pieces, two rooks, a queen, and seven pawns for, pawns for both sides. White is better here because they have more space with the pawn on e5. White played knight e2, continuing the development. Knight e5 was played from black, which wasn't a great move. They better should have played bishop d7, and then after c3 play queen c5. So the idea is like bishop c6, rook d8, and develop, because uh, in the game the bishop gets stuck on c8 for a while. White continued knight f3, attacking the queen, queen c5, queen e4, nice move. Now, and as well, why white is better, not only they have more space thanks to that pawn, uh, if white manages to play queen h4, bishop h6, and trade off this bishop, then dark squares will be very, very weak for black, and perhaps white will get something like knight g5, and maybe even mate black. Black played queen to b4, then there is a very nice move pre not uh, avoiding the queen trade, because we want to keep the queens to make uh, to create an attack. White plays, played a great move, bishop c4. Black played knight b6, the idea is to win the bishop, and they still uh, want to trade the queens, but white finds yet another great move, b3, saying that no, I'm not gonna trade the queens. Because otherwise, for example, if okay, if you move the bishop, it's a queen trade, and then black is more or less surviving it, and even though white is still slightly better, black is good. Knight d2 was another move, but after bishop d7, black developed their bishop out, and then it is equal position again. So b3 is a great move from white. Black took, white took, rook e8. If black would try bishop d7, then there would be bishop a3 and then winning an exchange because of a skewer. So black played rook e8, white played rook d1. That's a great move as well, preventing the bishop development from d7, as you can see. Because, yeah, now the bishop, the rook controls the d7 square. Queen c5 was played in the game, which was a mistake. Uh, it should have been play, uh, black should have played rook b8 with the idea of b6 and then bishop b7 developing their bishop because right now black simply cannot play b6 it would be a huge lander because of queen 8 losing a rook so rook b8 with the idea of b6 would be good for black but they play queen c5 white played queen h4 computer says it's a mistake white should have played rook a3 very nice move the idea is after rook b8 you play rook a d3 and then rook d8 is the idea. For example, a line b6, rook d8 doesn't work, but bishop a3 and the queen is stuck as well. So it's a very nice queen trap. And otherwise, if black, I don't know, removes the queen, say, to b4, so they want to take the pawn or something, they can be rook, oops, not rook d7, but rook d8, and white has a great attack, queen e4. Queen h4, for example, black tries to develop the bishop, we just take take rook d8 queen and the queen. So rook would be a better move, but queen h4 is a still great move. Now black finally tries to develop their bishop with b6. White plays bishop e3, and queen c6 was a mistake from black. They should have played bishop f uh, queen f8. The idea is to prevent bishop h6, which happened in the game, because now after bishop h6, black simply takes, and you cannot take because queen h6. In the game happened queen c6, bishop h6, 
white tries to uh, trade the defender of the dark squares for black and if they do white is completely winning because they get like queen f6, rook d4, rook h4, knight g5 and mating attack, something like that so black played bishop h8 avoiding the trade then rook d8 was played the idea is if takes queen d8, queen e8, queen e8 that's mate so black had to play queen b, bishop to b7 white played rook a d1 and black played bishop d7 which was a mistake already they should have taken and then after takes, I mean they should play f6 but after e takes f Rook d8, f7, king f7, queen d8, white is completely winning. So the position was already very difficult for black. They play bishop g7, trying something, white finds a great move, rook 8 to d7. The idea, if black plays something like rook c8, just any move, right? White simply takes g7, queen f6, and then f7 falls, and they are mating very soon. So an option for black was queen to e4, but then white has a brilliant rook sacrifice, rook f7. The idea is if king f7, white gets rook d7, king g8, rook g7, king h8, queen f6, and then no matter what black does, there is rook g8, king g8, and then queen g7 mate. So queen e4, rook f7, and if queen h4, white first takes g7, king h8, knight h4, they are a piece up completely winning, so after queen e4, rook h7, it would be game over. Black tried rook f8, protecting the f7 square, now white took the g7 bishop, finally, rook 1, d4, black has absolutely no moves, rook d8 isn't an option, black is just stuck, their pieces are very bad, they tried rook a8, then white plays queen f6, king g8, h4, gaining more space, the idea is h5 h6 even though Sophie says it was a slight inaccuracy stronger was for example knight h4 and black simply has no moves if they wait then there is f3 they continue waiting and then there is a brilliant knight g6 knight sack if pawn takes queen g7 mate if black does nothing queen h8 mate as you can see and if black takes rook h4 and that is mate as well on h8 so knight h4 is a, bit, a little stronger move but in the game it was a great move nonetheless black played h5 and now white plays a brilliant king to h2 so their idea is to make the legendary king walk king h2 king g3 king f4 king g5 king h6 and then mate so let's see what happened in the game black played rook c8 it was a mistake uh they should have played bishop c8 and then white would get knight g5 if bishop d7 rook f4 or even stronger is g4 to just completely like look the queen black pieces are all stuck on their half so queen c5 white simply takes then g takes h rook f7 white's completely completely winning so bishop c8 was a try but uh black played rook c8 king g3 now the walk continues rook c8 was a final mistake, okay, computer suggests queen d7, but of course, rook d7, rook d1, keeping, or even rook d4, and then continuing the king walk, white is still completely, completely winning, so in the game was played rook c8, and then white plays king f4, now black tried king c8, and after king g5, they're resigned, because if black takes the rook, now there is king h6, and then queen g7 is unstoppable, no matter what black does, there is queen g7 for white, so what else did black have they had king h7 but then white has uh, two uh, forcing mate ideas first one is rook f7 rook f7 queen f7 king h8 and king h6 and the idea is queen g7 or queen h7 mate and if rook e7 you you just have mate in one so it's game over so king h7 rook f7 was one option the second option was queen g6 check and then queen to h6 king g8 and then king of six, <laughs> the king walk ended here, and then queen g7 is unstoppable, so white is completely winning, so after king g5, black simply resigned. So brilliant, brilliant game from Nigel Short, yeah, very semantical game, gaining more space, and then avoiding a queen trade, because he saw these attacks may happen, and then bishop c4, and then just not letting black do anything, preventing all of their ideas, queen c5, queen h4, b6, bishop e3, bishop h6, rook d8, then great move, rook d7 with rook f7 idea, and then rook d7, and rook f8, bishop g7, rook d4, queen f6, h4, and then the king walk, and then this here black resigned, so a really great 
really really great game i really hope you enjoyed this review don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed the video and also let me know what videos you want me to analyze in the future videos and yeah i hope you enjoyed it, the video guys take care everybody and i'll see you next time take care and bye bye